Hello guys, welcome to this week's Render Tip Tuesdays. My name is Daniel and today we're going to take a look at contrast and brightness and the image style settings in Keyshot and how we can take an overexposed image like you see here with this uh, watch render and turn it into something more evenly exposed which we can work in Photoshop afterwards as well. So here you can see an overexposed image and uh, this is because I turned up the brightness and the contrast in my environment. But this is because I want to have these kind of nice, sharp and dark um, shadows. So here you can see in this white area, if I turn on the histogram, it tells me that we have areas which are completely white. So this means even if I try and add, uh, for example, our levels and try to um, adjust the setting here, I don't have any color information in this area. So this is completely white and we can't um, change it to another shade. So let's jump into Keyshot and I'll explain a little bit more about that. So we are in Keyshot right now, and this is um, the scene that I set up here. And I use this Materials 4K environment, which has only a few pins here. And I set the brightness to two and the contrast to one. You can change the contrast to two to give a bit more uh, dramatic change here. So as I said, I want to have these dark shadows and this high contrast but also I don't want to overexpose the image as you can see happening here. So how can we change this? We can go to this image tab in the project window to the right. And here I set up an image style. You can do this by duplicating the default um, image style or, or create a completely new one. So we can change the name to low contrast. And this is something that is being used in movies and also with um, photography, that you actually change the contrast in your settings, in your camera, in order to not have so harsh whites and completely black um, shadows. And we can go into the basic adjustments here and change the gamma setting to a much higher value, let's say three, and go down with the exposure also around three, maybe. Maybe let's take uh, two. And as you can see, these areas which were previously completely white are now having the details that we want. So here, the numbers on the watch face are showing. You can see the shadow of the watch handles. And overall, the image is much better lit than we had before. A little bit of a white highlight we have uh, going on here on the right side. So we can even try and change this to a, um, a higher value. And if you, we do that, we see that the contrast is getting lower and lower. So usually we don't want to have this uh, low contrast render or image, but I'm going to post process this image anyways in Photoshop. And this gives me much more freedom uh, in choosing the right values and the right contrast. So if I go back to Photoshop, I can go to my other render. And if I turn off everything that I did to this image, you can see this is the final render that I uh, made here. And with a little bit of a curve, which looks like this, like a S curve and uh, some other quick fixes, we can get this really nice looking render. So this is how you use image styles in Keyshot to give you more freedom in your post-processing workflow. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, leave a comment and subscribe for more videos every week. Bye.